Hello, my name is Dan Low. In this video, I'm going to show you how to prove by mathematical induction of this uh, NFA. Where um, we have the Q, Q0, Q1, Q2, three, three states, and if and only if Q2 is in delta hat Q0 W, and W it must be x01 and divided by 01. Okay, so you go from here, and then go here, and then go go to Q2. Okay, so we're going, we're going to argue. Uh, this statement is correct, okay, based on the length of W using mathematical induction. So the basics is if the length of W is zero, that means empty string, and then uh, the Q2 in the delta hat Q0 W, delta hat is a transition function take, uh, takes the a string W. In this case, this string is empty string, and obviously, you know, this is, is a false, okay? Q2 is not gonna be there because Q0 is stay at the Q0. And the right hand side, W equal to X01, the empty string is not gonna be 01, uh, ended by 01 anyway, so it's a false. So we have the false if only, if, if and only if it false. So the statement holds. That's the basics. Now, let's take a look at hypothesis. Let's assume uh, the length of W is N, and we 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 did the N larger than two. Okay, that means the length had to be at least two, and not at, at least three. Sorry. And then uh, we have the statement holds, which is Q two is in delta hat Q zero W, if and only if W is ended by zero one. Okay. So now we want to argue the length of W increase by one. And uh, I'm just put the prefix uh, A to W. So A could be zero or one. So all together the length is M plus one, okay? And what we're going to do here is we want to make sure uh, this AW or uh, state of condition also ended by zero one, okay? But since A could be zero or one, so the transition from the delta on a symbol, single symbol, one, okay. Q0 go to, uh, reading one will go to uh, Q0 if you go back to the NFA. Oh, sorry. So Q0, okay. Uh, reading one, you'll go to Q0, okay. And if A is zero, Q0, reading zero, you'll go to Q0 over Q1. So I just this is there. So if Q0 reading one, you go go to the Q0. So the next day is a Q0. I'm reading zero, the next day could be Q0, Q1. Okay. Now, let's now consider the uh, the statement. So if the condition Q2 is in the delta hat Q0 aw, aw has length m plus one. Okay. And if and only if Q2 is in the union of P in the delta Q0 A and delta hat PW. Okay, uh, so it depends on the value of A. Okay, if A is 0, okay, then uh, Q0 is Q1. If A is 1, uh, Q0 is Q0, Q1, uh, based on the previous argument. Okay, so we have uh, two possible uh, choices. Okay. So it could be uh, the delta hat Q0 W union delta hat Q1 W. So, so if if A push the state transition to Q1, okay, then we go from Q1 to W, okay. However, since W, uh, we assume W AW's length uh, is larger than uh, two, which is three, okay. So if you're reading one out, so W then still still have uh, still have uh, two there, okay? If you have two there, then this delta hat Q1 W, you go back to the transition diagram, okay? If you, 
if you move to the, if you read the first first symbol you know and you move to q1 then you cannot consume uh, two extra symbols you can only consume one symbol move to q2 and then you stuck there and therefore the this thing the delta 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 had q1 w where the length of w larger than two uh, this guy will be empty. It, it cannot go that route. So end up, uh, we have just the delta Q zero W left. So we have the Q two must be in the delta Q zero W. Okay. So if Q two is in the delta Q zero W, and based on the hypothesis, we have immediately W must be the form X zero one. If W is X zero one form, then A W, which is the one we have A W. Uh, also ended by zero one, and that can conclude the proof. So I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Bye bye. See you next time.